Greetings, greeting my Israelite brothers and sisters. And today's topic is why do black women have short hair? Why do black women have a hard time growing their hair? Why are black women unbeautiful? period, in general, all across the board. Why are they unattractive? Why have they lost their beauty? Why have they lost their hair? Why can't they grow their hair? Well, if you go to the book of Isaiah in your King James Bible, the book of Isaiah chapter 3, it explains why the daughters of Zion, the black Israelite women, have short hair. It explains why black Women in America, black women across the world, have short hair. The book of Isaiah chapter 3 explains that. Now let's get further into detail. Moreover, the Lord saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty, and walk with stretched forth necks, and wanton eyes, wa walking and menacing, as they go and making their and making a tinkling with their feet. Therefore the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head, the daughters of Zion. And the Lord will discover their secret parts. So in Isaiah chapter three, verse seventeen, the Lord is saying he's gonna put a scab on the daughters of Zion. The Lord is saying he's going to smite them, smite their crown with scabs. What kind of scabs? Cradle cap, bad dandruff, dandruff in general. Cradle cap is bad dandruff, dangerous to the highest level. And most black women have that, and they have to use that real thick-ass sulfate grease, that shit that stank, like that medicated grease for their scalps, because their scalp is raw and it got scabs all in it. It says right here it says it right here in the book of Isaiah chapter three. Therefore the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head, the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. In that day the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet and their in their claws and their tires and their, it says and and their round tires like the moon. The chains and the bracelets of the muffler, the chain and the bracelet and, and the mufflers, the bonnet and the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tablets of, and the tablets and the earrings, the rings and the nose jewels, the changeable suits of apparel and mantles, and wimples and crisping pins. The glasses, the glasses, and the fine linen, and the hoods, and the veils. So he's saying, he's saying in chapter three, verse Isaiah, he's removing everything from the daughters of Zion, all the things that they used to wear. He said he's removing the chains and the bracelets. He said he's removing the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs, the headband, and the tablets and the earrings, the rings and the nose jewels. The changeable suits of apparel and the mantles of the wimpels of the wimp of the wimpels and the crisping pins and the glasses and the fine linens and the hood and the hoods and the veils. So he's saying they ain't gonna have nothing on their head. They used to have their hair covered up. The women now they don't have anything on their head, including hair, because he stripped them of it of their beauty. And it shall come to pass that instead of a sweet smell, there should be a stink instead of the girdle, a rent instead of the well-set hair, baldness, and instead of the stomacher, a, the stomach, the stomacher, a, a girdle of sackcloth and burning instead of beauty. Thy men shall fall by the sword and the mighty in the war. And her gates shall lament and mourn, and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. She shall sit upon the ground. It's telling you everything about why the black woman is bald-headed right here in Isaiah chapter 3.
Read it for yourself. I'm I'm put it up so y'all can read this in case you don't have a Bible. It's your boy Little Haji El Shabazz, and that is why black women have baldness, dandruff, no hair, no beauty, no rags to cover up their hair because the Most High has stripped it away from them because they walk not in the words of the Most High. They walk not with their heart and their neck upright towards the Most High. He stripped them. He stripped the Israelite women and the Israelite men of all their riches, of all their possessions. Read your Bibles. Wake up to the truth, you Israelites, lost tribes, lost children, you lost sheep. Little Haji El Shabazz.